Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden and 2K packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable Madden and 2K coins on the market. And of course, do not forget to use code FURDY for 5% off. A link for their website is at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today, we are looking at the brand new limited time legend, Joe Flacco. Okay, so here is Joe Flacco. I know Brady came out today. But if Brady didn't come out today, there'd be a lot more hype around this card right now. And I'm actually happy that Brady's out right now in packs because Flacco's price is way down because everyone's trying to pull Brady and they don't really care about this Flacco card. But you should care about this Flacco card. He gets Slinger 1. If you don't have the 4 mil to put up for Tom Brady, Joe Flacco might be the best pocket passer in the game right now. Yes, doesn't have the speed to run those QB you know, read options, shovel options, whatever you want to run. But does get Slinger 1. Probably the, it is the fastest release in the game right now without any, you know, gunslinger to help you out, of course. But I mean, good stats on this card. He's six foot six, so an absolute stallion in the pocket. It also does get just nasty ability setups with him being a legend. He does get three player specific ability slots. So free fearless on this card. Insane. I believe he's the only free fearless quarterback in the game right now. Also, you could go to AP hot route master does get pass lead elite as well as gunslinger with protected. I, I do want to test out this card with gunslinger. So we're going to go into practice mode with gunslinger and then go into practice mode without it and kind of see the difference but i really don't think slinger one needs gunslinger and then here in the third slot we're gonna rock with the hot route master if you don't need hot route master you could run gunslinger here and then have a three ap setup with fearless which would be absolutely disgusting but for my offense i do need hot route master so we're gonna rock with it today um so uh yeah i'm excited uh and let's hop into practice mode here with joe flacco and by the way yes he does get legends chems even though he didn't technically retire he is a legends card Okay, so here he is without Gunslinger. I'm sure, you know, you've seen Slinger 1. Slinger 1, short to mid without Gunslinger, by far the best release in the game. My one gripe with uh, Slinger 1 is it's deep, you know, pass lead release. I feel like it's a little bit, it has that like, you know, see that, see that right there? Uh, maybe with Gunslinger that will get cut down a little bit, which I assume it will, but that deep release is just a little bit slow for me. Um, but short to mid, I mean, this is, it, it absolutely just pokes. Like, look how quick that ball's getting out. And that's no Gunslinger right there. You need Gunslinger to make a lot of releases look that fast. And this is just a 4 AP setup of Rock right now in Flacco. And it's, you know, it, it's pretty nasty. Man, these menus are mad slow today. Everyone's rolling their training varieties. But here we go. We got Gunslinger on Flacco. We got the Gunslinger hot route pass lead combo, which is probably what I might rock with if I like the way Gunslinger is. It's, it is a 5 AP setup on this card, which is just insane. But here we go. Pass lead outside. I guess that wasn't really the deep release. Let's try Let's try another one there. Um, maybe that was it. Maybe that was that it. I don't know. I mean, let's just try maximum range here on this and just see. Pass lead high and outside. We're very far. And it really doesn't cut down too much. It does seem a little bit faster, but it doesn't. I thought maybe it'd like extend the range maybe of his mid release, but it just kind of doesn't. And let's see here. I mean, that's pretty. I mean, that's definitely faster. I don't know how much faster you need on a release though. You know what I mean? Like, how much faster do you really need? I mean, this is ridiculous. Look how quick, look how quick that is. All right, I'm going to run Gunslinger in today's gameplay just because I, I think it would be a lot of fun just to use the fastest possible release ever. Like, I think it would be. Like, look how quick. That's insane. All right, yeah, let's hop into the gameplay, man. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, real quick before we hop into today's gameplay, I have to remind you to hit that subscribe button. We post daily Madden 23 Ultimate Team content, so if you play Ultimate Team and are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It's your one-stop shop for all of your Ultimate Team content. Regardless, I do appreciate you watching today's video, and let's get right back to Joe Flacco. Okay, starting off on defense, and recently in gameplays on defense, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We've been struggling. You know, we've been struggling. I, I feel like I've been working on this defense. It works against tight, but I feel like it's only really uh, good in like CFM when I play CFM. Um, but even I played a CFM game the other day and it didn't do anything against it. I, I played against tight one, one game in this defense and it boxed. And I played against it another game and couldn't guard anything. Let's guys rock with the Matty Ice card. The Matty Ice card is interesting. I mean, Slinger 3 does also get some pretty good ability, stuff like that. Um, he, did he really throw this? triple coverage i mean i guess that's what we're doing here so defense does stand up we're gonna go ahead and sit down but uh okay i gotta test this out i know a lot of you guys don't like when i run the swing pass a lot but just me running this offense for so long like with slinger one gunslinger i just have to see how quick i'm able to get this ball out because that's obviously a important and out to the left is you know where i like throwing the ball is he, is he on jank is he gonna stay on him no he's not but dude i just love doing this here we go get it out oh i couldn't throw it oh oh i didn't let me throw it I gotta see how quick a ball gets out. Oh my goodness. Oh my. And just it gets there so quick. Dude, dude. Where, where are you gonna go? Oh, we have that open. Underneath. And by the way, you know, six foot six. 
you're not hitting your lineman in the back of the head. So you can throw stuff over the middle very confidently. Um, C route does cook. We should. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw this ball instead. But you see how quick that releases, man. I mean, this is this is the beauty of Flacco. This is the beauty of Joe, man. This is the beauty of Joe. And you just saw what that corner route did, by the way, uh, which is frustrating because I like throwing corner routes. But here we go. We should get this open again. Get it open over his head, and it's that's a tough ball to throw over a six foot five cornerback. That's why I feel like guys like Calvin and Harold Carmichael still have a place, really, because uh, yeah, because of just how tall they are, and you really gotta like sometimes sometimes they catch you sometimes they catch you on these corner routes that was close but uh, i'm not even running fearless right there by the way and that ball was put right on the money but uh, yeah again, again if you don't need hot route master i know i just said it but if you don't need hot route master man three ap for this uh for this throwing setup is pretty insane uh and here we go motion this in uh, i step back a little too far but we should have that open real easy really good passing by flacco again oh uh, man okay this is this is this card's gonna be fun man this card this card is gonna be fun, dude. And, dude, if he gets down the rental, I, I'm bad to talk about it right now in the Who Would I Rather segment, but if he gets down the rental, man, oh my goodness. Just because I think he's gonna run the same defense again. Uh, he does, same exact defense, same exact defense. Same exact one, beautiful. There we go, Andre Reed with a touchdown, then the two point. Okay, Who Would I Rather Joe Flacco edition. And all I'm gonna say is that if you are a, if you're good enough to the point where you're able to use a quarterback with 78 speed and you don't you don't need the speed that like brady's card has as far as ability setups go i don't know like i really think tom brady and joe flacco are at the same level like i know what i'm saying is crazy i know what i know i'm sure there's gonna be some comments like you're tripping like you know flacco like i know there's gonna be comments like that but i really like look at the price tags is joe flacco really 3.1 million worse than tom brady absolutely not i think it's really close between these two cards because look at it like this slinger one is the equivalent without gunslinger to what brady's card is with gunslinger so it's just like brady like imagine they have the same releases i mean the ability setups are pretty similar i mean tom brady i do think is better um, because he has the speed and some better stats obviously with him being a 99 overall but if you can play from the pocket and don't need, you know, read options or being able to scramble or, you know, kind of that QB speed that I really rely on a lot of the time, uh, this card with his release, that gunslinger, that pass lead setup for 3 AP, if you want hot route master, it's there. If you don't feel like you need gunslinger, you have that set up there for you too with the pass lead, the fearless and the hot route. I mean, I, I don't know, man. I, I just don't know. I, I think Flacco is really that guy, man. I really do. I, I still think Lamar is the best, you know, running option QB. Um, I think Brady's the best all around because of his stats. They're really good. But Flacco, man, in a good player's hands, I feel like is just dangerous, bro. His card is dangerous. That's all I can say about him. I think without question, Joe Flacco's top two. And debatably, he's won. I don't know. Depending on your ability setups, depending on what you need on offense, depending on how you feel about releases, Flacco could be one, man. Hopefully, we're all good here. I'm getting back underneath. Oh, it's me. That's got to be Revis. Revis with the pick card. making a play. He had it light up it does but that press was yep okay see when i see man coverage i just gotta not okay okay that was nice all right when i see man coverage i just gotta get rid of the that streak on the back side and also i gotta make it a streak i've noticed when i run the when i keep it as a fade route and i keep it kind of stock on that play uh it gets pressed a lot more and it delays the timing like if that guy's out of the way i mean olave's got a free you know 20 yards there maybe we get up the field who knows nothing's really open there besides gronk gronk's gonna catch that all right, well, just like that, uh, didn't even take a shot, really, and we still threw a pick, which sucks. Safe, because that, yeah, that, that Calvin throw was a little crazy. He wants that backside. Give me that, give me that pick two. Go, go, run, run. Pick two, pick two, pick two. This has to be. That boy doesn't drop. It's going to Henry quick. Yeah, there we go. Get it out fast. One foot in the ground. Derek Henry. Oh, I need a broken tackle out of you, Derek, there. I think regardless, person can be open. Get out there quick, and there we go. All right, what, what I'm trying to do right now is just get rid of that Calvin X factor, because I just saw what it did. He's not going to be there. He might be there in time. Okay, we're going to get Olave open. At least we should. Good ball to death from Joe. And a first down. Olave with the route tech lighting up. Flat's going to be open quick here. Again, I mean, it's just easy. Cut. Get off me. Get off me. You're, you're way too little. He's not outside like he should be. We're, we're way too quick on the outside. Get off me. You're way too little, bro. Swerve that. Derrick Henry. Stiff-armed with the ball. That's what he, he stiff-armed with the ball. That, that's dominant. He took the ball out of his hand and stiff-armed with it. All right, get open. Get underneath that. It's open. There we go. Joe Flacco. Get it on the money. And a broken tackle for Andre. Don't get punched. And that's going to be a first down. Okay. And it's crazy how the Jets are actually going to have three Slinger 1 quarterbacks to end the year, man. Like, I cannot believe the Jets theme team has three Slinger 1 quarterbacks. You have Brunel, Flacco, and then Rodgers' Rogers card, which is going to be crazy. 
don't think he did. And I'm going to go Olave. Olave is going to be open. And I love that route, man. Just block the running back. We're free with Quan. And we got high pointed by J Jillian Edelman. Just high pointed us, stiff arm us to the crib. And we should be good to go here. He's on digs. Oh, I think I think I caught him. Get open, Andre. Get open, Andre. Get open. Uh, Andre Reed's wide open. Andre Reed. Put that back inside. Andre Reed touchdown. There we go. Beautiful. That's how he set. That's how he set someone up, man. You know, you, you get past the ball every time, and they get kind of stuck in it. You gotta get them. Gotta make sure they respect you. And the connection, to my peer, has been lost. Um, I don't feel like that game was over. I feel like he had a chance there. 